Again with breaking news out of Kankakee, south of Chicago. CBS 2 sources telling us there has been a shooting at the Kankakee County Courthouse. It is unclear if that shooting was inside or outside of the courthouse. At least two people have been shot. Published reports say the coroner's office has been called. We have been unable to confirm that at this point. The reports go on to say that one person is in custody. City buildings have been temporarily closed. All public schools in the Kankakee School District are under lockdown right now. Joining us now on the phone to talk more about that, the Kankakee School District Superintendent, Dr. Geneva, Genera Walters, excuse me. Dr. Walters, I want to ask you first, before we get to the schools, what are you hearing about what has happened at the courthouse? Um, I did hear that there were multiple offenders. I was under the impression that there were two in custody and one or two that are not in custody. Okay, we will work to confirm that information as it becomes available. When were you alerted that schools should be locked down, and what was some of the decision-making around that? Um, I um, heard through kind of the police channels, um, and I immediately called uh, my secretary and told her to lock down the schools that were in the immediate vicinity of the courthouse. And then once I found out that there was an offender on foot, I decided to lock down all of the schools because our, school is, our schools are within a very small community. I see. What would you tell a parent right now who's concerned about their child during this lockdown? Um, I, I would say not to be concerned. I would be more concerned if parents attempted to take their, school, their children out of the building. Mm -hmm. um, we will release a lockdown once we know that the area has been secured. Okay, and you are working with police to make some of those calls? Um, we have a security officer that I've been in contact with. As soon as I get off the phone, I will contact the chief of police. Okay, Dr. Genera Walters, thank you for giving us that information, and we will continue to check in with you as we follow this story. We do have some more information that just came into us. A witness told us that he saw two people laying on the ground. They were between the courthouse and another building. We can continue to follow this story. We'll have breaking news throughout this newscast, but also continuing coverage on CBSN throughout the afternoon. That is our streaming service. You can catch it on our app or at CBSChicago.com.